Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're gonna to talk about how to create instant experience ads on Facebook. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so instant experience ads on Facebook, they're really cool. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna hand over to my account manager, Graham, who's gonna be able to show you actually how to get inside the ads manager and do it yourself. Um, but before we do that, I'm gonna run through quickly a little bit about um, instant experience ads and why they're important and why you should be using them. What exactly are instant experience ads? I mean, there's different formats that you can um, use instant experience with, but um, you know, in a nutshell, basically uh, what happens if you click on an ad, it opens up an instant experience in the app, which means that if you're used to be able to um, send traffic to a landing page or whatever that looks like, Facebook's um, got a function and an in-app ability for you to be able to um, you know, create that experience inside Facebook, inside their platform. And this is gonna be really important in 2022 as you know, the IOS issues and cookie tracking and all that type of stuff gets more and more complex and, um, and you, you have less vis visibility. So being able to um, run in-app experiences or instant experiences inside the Facebook platform is really gonna help your lead gen efforts uh, in 2022. Okay, so why is uh, instant experience ads on Facebook important? Well, the first thing is that there are rumors going on that there's gonna be an iOS-like bomb that's gonna drop in 2022, uh, which will mean that you have even less visibility and all the problems that you might be experiencing now may get even worse. So it's very important that you start learning how to keep your users and your traffic inside the app, okay? It's gonna help with, with tracking, conversion events, all of the usual stuff that you struggle with when all of those events and stuff like that firing outside of Facebook, all right, which is why it's powerful. There's also um, some, some rumors as well that fa Facebook is gonna be throwing a lot of money at this in-app experience, this instant experience um, uh, ad, ad type that they're offering you. So it's very, it's in, in, in my opinion, in our opinion as an agency, it's very important that you start testing um, and giving it a go so you can uh, you know, get really good at it before things start getting worse outside of the face, Facebook app, if that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna hand over to Graham, um, my account manager, to show you how to actually um, create an instant experience ad and how it works and what that looks like. Um, before I do that though, I forgot to mention that they're super fast, all right? We talk about fast load speed times on you know, our landing pages, we use Unbounce, which is a great tool. Um, but there's a reason why they're called instant experiences, right? Because they load like that, which means um, if you're running an advertorial or something like that inside an instant experience ad, people are gonna start reading that copy very, very quickly, which means you can get them engaged and keep them, um, keep them engaged with your offer. Um, so you can essentially turn them into a lead later on. So without further ado, I'll pass you over to Graham. Enjoy. Hey guys. Um just a quick video just to go through how we use uh, internet experiences um, to really help keep people on Facebook for longer, um, pro help prioritize your ads in the auction. And just basically have a, a good little friction builder in between your ad and your quiz. Um, so th this would be perfect for things like advertorials uh, or just to, just to boost the quality a little bit. Uh, which is basically just maybe like an explainer page, um, explain the product a little bit more before they get onto the quiz. Um, so you can use a bit more shorter based uh, copy for your ad, building intrigue. And this can be the little thing that pops up and is kind of like the explainer. Um, so I've got two versions that I'm going to go through with you guys uh, today. Uh, there's the long, long version and the short version. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea. This is the short version um, I created a little bit earlier. So the ad is um, exactly the same. You have your copy, you have your image, and you have a he headline. This is just, um, as you can see, the ad will be slightly different. We'll have a little up arrow there, um, which is basically because, so, I'm having, um, so I'm just gonna press edit here. And this is one of Facebook's um, templates. It's the client acquisition uh, template, which is basically, so this is kind of like the preview um, that you'll see. Um, so you have a, co a, co a cover image there um, with uh, a link and you have a couple of bits of text. So this text is the bigger one. This text is the smaller one. Um, and then you've got the button. edit the look that I know of uh, on these, but I'll, I'll come into carousel here, which uh, so I've got uh, multiple videos of cars. This is for just the biz car quotes, which is basically our example of your business. 
um, like so. Then you scroll down here, you have a bit of a text or a, like, about us, a couple of call to actions there, Mi minimal text. This is like the, the very basic uh, one that you can do um, with Facebook. This is probably if you're a bit more, um, haven't got the time to spend on it. Um, it's a kind of done for you template, which you can just input your own stuff. Uh, um, I personally prefer doing the longer one, which I'm gonna come on to show you now. Now I'm going to give you. I'm going to quickly show you it, um, and then I'm going to build it out again, so you can see what I what I do to get the design right. Um, let's just press preview. So this is um, purely custom built. So this is the custom built, um, and you have a lot more control over like uh, colors um, and design. Um, so I'm just going to take you through this. So we've got first of all something new. We've got the header in there. So that that will have a little logo in there, uh, which will stay as you scroll down. Um, then we have the cover image. Uh, we have headline, sub headline, and the call to action that's very similar to what we had in the Facebook's um, template. And again, we'll go with the, the carousel. Uh, all, all these images link. Uh, you can do cool things like you can have a testimonial squares um, and you can upload those, five of those, and people can scroll through your testimonials there, which is another thing that we've used quite often. Um, I think that's a great use here if, if you have them, um, even if you just uh, screenshot them from Trustpilot, the about us section below. And then here's when I add uh, just a little bit more um, information for people to read through. So we've got our services here uh, as um, scroll through uh, the services. Each one it has a link on it. You can use UTM so you know where they're coming from, things like that. Um, but that's all good. Then we've got a button on, under there like before. Use, which I've set, set, set up like this. Um, and then we've got the last little bit, live in the UK, let's, let's get you started. So this is basically just, just doing a bit of an explainer, getting them ready um, before they hit your quiz page. The really big things that these are good for, um, load time, the load time is rapid. Um, you, you using this and it's tutorials because then, you know, you don't need to send them off your, off your, um, website so what we used to do with avatars we used to have a avatar brand called money tips feed um, that would then link to say uh, like our, our one-to-one client so whatever their brand was it, it would go it would go to a page but it would basically the, the, the whole thing is it would be a different brand your avatar brand would have been a different brand to the actual brand that was doing lead generation um so what this can really help them um, in your ad account um and they don't really like cross domains during um the kind of like customer flow this is perfect. So you could brand this up as say like a money tips feed kind of thing. And then you can go and it's branded like your avatar brand money tips feed. And then you can click off and go to um, like the branded website. Um, so I've shown you this. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to build it. So on, on your ad, um, you should have, um, you know, done your image, your um, primary text and your headline here. Um, and then in the destination section, that's when you want to change it to instant experience here. So, the short I showed you earlier, the short one was the customer acquisition template. Um, we're not going to do that though. Um, and we'll use it multiple times by clicking here. Uh, you can see on here, you can see the collection ads I've run as well. Um, but this is the long one that I did earlier. But I'm going to just show you how I custom into an experience here. Um, and then, so you have a totally blank experience. So let's just name it first. Um, and then we want to start building it. Okay. So we're going to firstly press add components. We want to add the uh, sticks as well. Um, so normally what I do is I go on somewhere like Canva. Um, I stick the, uh, and, and then I crop it down. And they say roughly the best, um, the best size is 882 pixels by 66 pixels. I do 882 by 70. Uh, we, obviously my logo is a little bit um, high. So it does come out a bit small, but I think it does, it does the job. Uh, just add that there. Cool. Um, so then we want to carry on next up. Uh, let's just do this now. So photo. It's my cover photo. I'm going to add that in. Well, I've got all my photos in here already, so it makes it a bit quicker. Just want to add in uh, the page it's, it's going to. Now you want uh, kind of um, a uniform formatting for your uh text the headlines is going to be um 26 and have it center aligned um and the color is going to be let's get the, get the hex code of course got the hex code i'm just going to add that in there uh, it's bolded so that's good um then next up we want to make sure we have the correct um padding so we've got these three buttons here and press show advanced settings uh, just make sure it's uh, it's nice and aligned. So let's do uh, 28, uh, let's just do 32 components. 
sub headline is going to be a bit smaller. It's going to stay 15, stay that color. And then I want to just sort the padding. So again, you can do whatever padding you want. I want it to be a bit closer. So that looks about right to me. Uh, let's see if we can get it a bit closer, actually. See if that looks any good. There we go. Cool, that looks good. Um, then next up, you want to add your button. Customize your button a bit more than uh, one four, which is a really good thing to do. Um, so you can have whatever text you want in there. Button's going to be 16. Text size, I want it bold, it's bold, good. I want it uh, the same color background. So I'm gonna just go fill here to make it um, feel like that. Paste that in. Then I'm going to change the color of the text to white. You can add UTMs on the end, end of these as well, so you know where all the clicks are coming from and things like that. So add that in. And again, you always want to make sure you're doing the padding just so it looks nice on the page. So that's a bit too close, I'd say. Let's go to 24. Let's make that right. There. Cool. And um, then what you want to do is you want to add, add, add in the carousel, which is here. Um, so we've got five images we want to add in. I've got most of them here, so let's add in this one first. Um, I won't, I won't add, add in all five to save time, but so you know, you've got to add in um, the URL to each image just so you can get them along um, to the next page. The whole, whole purpose of this whole thing is to basically influence all your images to be able to be uh, clicked on. So then again, we want to make sure the padding's right. You want to try and make it look as nice as possible. So the top. Let's give that a padding of 16. It's a bit, tiny bit more. Let's go 24. I think that looks. Let's leave the bottom for the time being. Um, then next up, we want a text block, which again is like that. Let's go and copy the text basically. So that's the About Us section. Um, I think the padding, always open the advanced settings to get the padding up. Let's go to bring it a clo bit closer. I kind of want it to match the padding up here. So I'd probably skylight. That'll probably do enough. Cool, so that's good, added that. So next bit we want to add is uh, text again. It's our title. So again, titles are 26. That's old already, that's good. And then finally, we want to um, make sure that it's got a nice padding. We're going to go 12 and so your padding should be between. On these titles, you always want top and, top and bottom to match. And then next up, we're gonna add another carousel for our services, for sections you want um, to make it look nice. I do think you don't want loads of, loads of blocks of text. I think one block of text meant to be um, a bit more image based um, so long blocks of text sometimes don't look very nice just um, just so you're aware so it takes some planning to do to, to, to do all this take some planning out and one thing you always want to go and double check is that everything is linked so you can see this image here let's link that in the so are linked so um, so next up we're going to add another button. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to put the fill. This to be bold, and again, put it to white. Just three Fs. Oh, so that's all good. Um, this button here, you can fix button to the bottom of the view there. Um, so if I scroll this way, so you see the button here, it stays as, as you scroll. Um, so I haven't got any, any, any if you want a sticky button. Um, again, make sure everything's linked. Obviously, always go show advanced settings. I think that looks quite nice. I'm going to leave that there for the time being. Let's see what the next component looks like. And then we want to add in. This is going to be our colored text blocks. So. I'm just going to set it up. 
is for FAQs. So, no, no, not mine. Textbook. So, three textbooks uh, to start with. So, the first textbook. Now, these titles are going to be a bit smaller because they're more like subheadings. Um, so I'm going to do 20 on these. Um, I'm still going to bold. Oh, still going to bold them. Let's bold them in our color. And this down here is going to be our very color. I've had that in before. Um, so that's all good. Next thing you want to do is add the uh, background color. Just find the hex code for that. This one here. Um, so the background color, this is say do this one. Change the background color. You've got to treat these two as basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do the top uh, 28, bottom zero. And then on this one, I'm going to do uh, the top, so the opposite. I'm going to do the top zero and the bottom uh, 28. Text should stay as 15 for this one because it's uh, standard paragraph text. And I'm going to copy that in now. And if you go up to your um, your title, I'm going to press enter once to push that down, and that gives you your, your text block, basically. Um, and then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down this third little text thing. I'm going to put in a dash. I'm going to change that color to white. I'm going to close, and then on this one, on, on the bottom one, I'm going to do uh, four and four, top four, bottom four. It's just basically going to be acts as a divider between each coloured text block, and that's what makes the text block look like we'll watch me do four others, um, and then move on. Okay, guys, so I've just um, gone through and added the other FAQs, so it looks like this. Um, as you can see, that little um, divider here works, so it just splits them up a little bit, so it looks a bit more cleaner. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go and add an image. So just add component, uh, photo, and we have this image of the UK. Good thing is every every image is clickable, so that will work nicely. Um, press continue. Um, not, they don't have to be um, linkable. So you can click here for another thing. I normally do just do fit to width linkable, basically. But you can play around with that kind of um, functionality. Uh, and that's it. So basically, that's um, created a pretty good um, instant experience there. And then you just go up to save and finish. It will tell you if there's anything wrong. We can save and finish. So saving it now. I may have to stop on this. Cool. Yep, so I just had to go through and add in those um, other carousels that I didn't add in. So that's done. We can press finish now after the save. Press finish, and then you're good to publish. Cool, so that's all done. So now I'm going to publish, um, and then I'm just going to do a quick screen record of what it looks like on my phone uh, to show you guys. Okay. Hey, guys. So I just want to show you what the ad looks like and what the instant experience looks like. So this is what the ad looks like. You have your standard copy, your image, and your um, headline. As you can see, it's a little bit different um, because it hasn't got the description underneath or a button, um, but it's kind of got that little arrow and it says tap to open. Now, just check this out, guys. Look how quick this loads compared to a, um, a URL. So I'm going, to I'm going to tap it now. Bosh. Very, very fast. And that, that is the huge benefit of using instant experience ads. Instead of losing, say, 20% of people because of load time, they drop off. Um, this is crazy um, fast. And you're basically going to get 100% of people landing on this page and checking it out, which is always good. As you can see, first uh, first glance looks pretty pretty fresh. Uh, looks quite nice. You've got the head header at the top with Bizcar quotes there. Um, you have your images um, and you have your headline and subheadline and your image above the fold, which is uh, what you want. And also you have this carousel here above the fold, which is great. Again, as I said, this is somewhere where you could really get some um, good testimonials in there um, or something like that, just for kind of like um, trust factors. Um, at the moment, it's just cars, but still looks nice. Then you've got the text here, which is basically about us. You go into our services, um, just looks again, quite quite nice and clean. 
Uh, you've got your button there, which you can or can't have. I'm, I'm actually looking at that now. I'm not a fan of it, so I might I might get rid of that. Um, but it's just, this preview is all about just checking what it looks like and trying to optimize from there. Um, again, FAQs. So you've got the nice colored boxes. Again, I may do. A, I would go back and put a bit more padding in between the um, title and the and the copy. Um, but it looks again quite nice and fresh. Come down to the image. Um, for the um, UK and your last call to action here. Uh, again, all these buttons are clickable, which goes through to our quiz page. As you can see, every image should be linked, which I believe it is. Um, so you've got a lot of areas where people can take action um, if, if they so wish. And that's kind of the whole strategy behind it. It's just trying to pre, pre-position them into wanting the service and giving them as many chances as you can for them to move on. That's why this is perfect for an ad advertorial uh, as just a step between your ad and your quiz. Um, you can swipe up at the bottom here and you go straight on there. Um, and you want this to be congruent with your quiz lander as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just perfect and and facebook are going to be putting a lot of uh, money into this because of all the ios tracking all that kind of stuff cookies might be might, might be going the rumors are so keeping them within facebook for longer is going to help you out um a lot uh so i would definitely get on trialing these uh testing them seeing how, how they work and playing about with your design capabilities i am not a designer in the slightest um so i'm sure proper designers could design something a lot better than this this is just um kind of like a standard stuff we do in, in lead gen um so if i can do it you you can probably do it too um but yeah guys thanks a lot for for checking out this video uh if you want if you have any questions on this particular topic in instant experiences uh do throw some comments below if you enjoy the video then let, let, let me know as well um but um thanks a lot guys and i'll uh, speak to you in the next one Cheers guys, bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Please do give us a like uh, so we know to create more content like this. Also, if you've got any questions about instant experience ads, please comment in the um, comment section um, inside YouTube and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, and the last thing is, of course, please subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when we've got new awesome videos out like this one. And another thing before you go, we've got a, um, a case study, game plan, whatever you call it, on how to get started with pay per lead and performance-based marketing. Marketing. It's really good stuff. You should check it out. It's pinned to the comment section. Take care.